Pop, verb, fuck em up. Pop, 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 pop. I'ma do my stuff. Why you trolling like a bitch? Ain't you tired? Trying to strike a chord, and it's probably A minor. Ah, good thing for me. I won't have pink hair. I'll be having a nice ice cold lemonade with the boys and uh, it'll be a good time, baby. Today we're gonna be looking over the hits and rating the set Twilight Masquerade, which is the next set to release in Pokemon officially. Guys, I will be 110% honest with y'all right now. I have probably seen maybe six to seven hits from this entire set. I've heard things about it. I you know, not not the best things to hear about a set, but I'll be non-biased. I'm gonna give y'all my full honest opinions on some of the cards, some of the bangers. And then at the end of this video, I will rate the set one out of 10. I do this with every set, so there's a playlist up here somewhere if you wanna see my ratings of other sets. All right, we're gonna be looking at Justin Basil's visual. God, God, how to find the cheapest airfare every time, bro. I don't think y'all are selling me on the air. <laughs> All right, Twilight Masquerade. First EX I see, what the fuck is that? Okay, second EX I see. See, this is, okay, so I did see one of these mask cards. I don't even know which one it was or how many I've seen. Shout out Crash Bandicoot. Freaking love that game. The game is OG, but y'all know that little mask guy from Crash Bandicoot? Like, this is the vibes I get. That's that's all I can think about when I see these, these Pokemon and Crash Bandicoot goaded, but you know, on a Pokemon card. We'll skip. We got a Slugma EX. This one's actually, that's that's a pretty cool one. The um, terastalized form on on him, actually like, it looks cool on the red. I like it. Dude, this, this Infernape, whatever this is, a common, uncommon, I mean, that's pretty dope. What the fuck? What is this, bro? I'm sorry for my lack of knowledge on some of the newer Pokemon, y'all. I am still learning Pokemon as I go. I still, it's one of my favorite things about Pokemon. I still have lots and lots of stuff to learn. Who the fuck is this though? Yeah, we're taking a skip there. Okay, they're just pushing out the fucking tuna fish cards lately. Maybe Pokemon got a sponsorship with, is it Starkiss? Is that what it's called? What the fuck is this Pokemon? It just has like a, a okay, so it's just all mass Pokemon. Is that what this entire set is gonna be? Bruh. I Oh my god, I literally thought that said ogre. Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Thought we were on some Shrek, some crazy Shrek vibes. Luxray EX, okay, finally a normal one. Nothing, you know, too crazy about the EX cards though. Never gonna like this form of Tyranitar. I think it looks insanely stupid. Dude, this Alakazam looks so beautiful. If they would've made an EX card with this little sparkly stuff around Alakazam like that, that, would look, that would've looked crazy. Even this Abra is really cool. In honor of Mother's Day, shout out to all you beautiful mothers out there and happy Mother's Day to those moms out there, seriously. Enjoy the day, our moms do a lot for us. Uh, make your mom feel special today for sure. But also, mini God boxes are $20 off today if you use this code on the screen right here. Then on top of that, I was gonna take a week off from live breaks. So shout out to my boy Andy Vasquez. After last week, I cannot give myself a week off. He went insane. I gotta go insane too. Live break packs are up right now on shinyvert.com. It's gonna be a fusion strike break. We're gonna be doing hanging blister packs. So they're not loose packs, they're not from a booster box, but they are the hanging blister packs. Shinyvert.com, happy Mother's Day. To all you beautiful mothers out there. Back to the video. Screamtail, not a huge fan of Screamtail myself, but this card actually looks really good. I like this one. All right, let's just, let's just get to the good shit. Nobody even wants to see this. Greninja, yeah, it's whatever. This, okay, another fucking mask. Nobody cares about the mask. I can guarantee you nobody is gonna give a solid, f okay. Another set with this piece of shit right here. Dreepy, I like that one. Got a little mystery box from Call of Duty Zombies right here. We've got uh, a hookah. So, you know, hookah sesh for the boys. This one is cool, we'll take this. I don't know what I'm looking at, but I like that one. The illustration rares that we're getting in this set. I have, probably have not seen 90% of these. Pinsir, uh, do not like this Pokemon very much at all. The artwork, it's okay. It's kind of a cool artwork, honestly. I don't like the apple one. I don't know, I mean, I guess it's cool. What are they, like, making candy apples back here? That's kind of cool. That's, yeah, that's, it's a cool, it's a cool story to this card, but I'm not a huge fan of the actual artwork of the card, if that makes sense. It's, like, too busy. Who is this? What is this Pokemon? Is this another one of the mass things? 
This artwork, however, I like this artwork. It's like kind of creepy and stuff. That one's pretty cool. The Torkoal, this one is a really cool artwork. The Infernape absolutely slaps. I, I love it. I love that artwork so much. I have seen this one before and that one goes crazy. Frostlass, this one is honestly probably my favorite I've seen so far just because Oh, I know I'm gonna fuck this story up, but recently, no, this was like six, eight months ago, I was looking up the top creepiest Pokemon and uh, like their stories and stuff. I don't, I don't know why. I just do these things in my free time. Frostlass was literally number one on the list, and the story behind Frostlass, which I had never known before, is that apparently it was like it's on screen. I don't want to mess the story up, but it's really cool and it is creepy, and I feel like this card matches those vibes. This one, just plain, the Cramorant. It's, you know, that's not my favorite. This, one, this one's pretty cool. I like the colorways on it, but it's still just pretty plain. The electric bird underwater, it's kind of cool. It's just like nothing's jumping out at me. Like the, um, even, even Paradox Rift, a set that I didn't generally like as an overall set, had the, uh, like the Metagross was beautiful. And, or am I tripping? Was that Temporal? Either way, the Metagross is a card that standed out to me. And then... The, uh, the Magby from, I know that one's Paradox. That was absolute stunning artwork. Ah, <sighs> Chimeco. No, it's shit. Okay, this one is actually really cool. This is a different type of artwork right here. I like this one a lot. That, one, that one's really cool, actually. The Growlithe, I know everybody lost their freaking minds over it, but honestly, in my opinion, I, I hate when people do that just because of the Pokemon on a card. Like, yes, we get it, Growlithe is a popular Pokemon. But just speaking about the artwork, I mean, there's nothing too special about it. And I know it has that thing where like the trainer has like the, the other point of view from this card. Just speaking about this one card in general, I don't think it's that cool of a card. Like this artwork, in my opinion, is much cooler. The Nose Pass, it's got like the low tad. You've got some Starlies, a Bidoof over here. Uh, what is this, a Bolton back here. Uh, but it looks like I, I cannot see from how far back I am. It looks like there's a bunch of Pokemon on Nose Pass's like head over here. Th this one is just a cool artwork. There's a lot going on to it. Uh, I like, yeah, this one's actually pretty cool. Timber. Oh, this one's beast. This one's actually beast. This might be my favorite one so far. So this one's really cool. Timber's like building a house. You got the evolution down here. Yeah, that one's pretty cool actually. Laron. Laron getting a special illustration or a illustration rare is actually really cool and surprising okay yeah this one's cool i like this one why am i looking at a fucking tree we're just not even going to talk about that and i don't know how people feel about this card personally i think it's pretty cool i know it's like super plain but it's just such a different type of artwork it's kind of cool chancy this oh this one slaps this this one's really cool as well it looks like they're in a pokemon center um i don't i don't know if that's accurate that's just what i initially thought uh, yeah, this one, that one's really cool. EV card, I'm sure everybody's gonna go stupid over. It's, it's cool. Illustration rares feel pretty weak to me in this set. All right, full art Pokemon, what, what the fuck is that? Okay, we have a second mask. Slugma, oh, this is weak, so this is weak as shit. We've star kissed again and another fucking mask, wow. Ooh, ooh, the Luxray looks so good, dude. The background looks amazing on the Luxray. Tyranitar and the Screamtail or Jigglypuff or whatever you want to call it. Greninja, this is hard to get through, bro. The Dreepy I like, I do like the Dreepy, Jesus Christ. The background over here goes pretty hard. Got some full art trainers. My baby mama right here mm. she's she's gonna carry this set on her back okay okay yeah this one's pretty cool and this one's probably the one people would go the most crazy for out of the trainer section still underwhelming special illustration rare pokemon okay so like this card for example i have never seen why is this little ghostbusters getting a fucking sir what in the f Bro, what the actual fuck am I looking at on this card? It just looks like a blurry mosaic. It looks like when I edit a thumbnail and want to hide what card I pulled and make it like into like those like blurry squares. This is this. What the fuck? There's three of them. What were they thinking? There's four. There's a fourth one. And Greninja is ass. I don't care what anybody says. It's that's complete it's complete trash, bro. 
The only cool part about this card, in my opinion, is these shurikens. Is that what they're called? Like, coming at the screen? I just... Oh, this is... This is stressing me out. This, that was it. These are all the special illustration rare Pokemon. Well, no fucking wonder I haven't seen any of this set. This is trash, bro. Special illustration rare supporters. I would let her do the most diabolical. Oh man. Call me a sweetie pop. Cause I'm trying to candy apple my way into her mouth. My favorite trainer of all time right now. I know this is a hot take, but it's the penny from Paldean Fates. I think, I think baby mama over here might might take the cake <laughs> no pun intended this card right here alone is a 10 out of 10 though i i am not liking the set so far she would be the reason i opened this set this one's really cool i like this one a lot and then here's that other side of Growlithe that i was talking about this, see this artwork is better than the Growlithe one in my opinion um i just think it is pretty cool that you see Growlithe in the lens and then yeah the background like blurred yeah, that one's pretty cool. That's it. That was it for SIRs. Okay, gold cards, more mask and bears. We got some fucking potato poffins right here. And promos. So why do the promos literally go 10 times harder than all the fucking SIRs? Aside from my baby mama. I'm about to drop. This is the craziest review I've ever given on a set in my life i know a lot of people are probably about to disagree with me because i am about to shit on this set and before i say this let me just preface it with yes every set does have good cards that trainer card is a 10 out of 10 to me there was some cool illustration rares like the infernape um and the frost last that i would love to have but as an overall set with all the mask and and the blurry fucking sir cards this set is truly worse than rebel clash to me this is worse than battle styles this is the lowest I've ever rated a set and it's getting a 3 out of 10 and I feel like that's being generous um, That is solely because that trainer is carrying like her back has got to be sore from carrying this set It wasn't me this time pause, but let me know what y'all's thoughts and opinions about this set is uh, We probably still will open some on the channel appreciate y'all watching this video If you missed the last one you can watch it right here or I have a whole playlist where I rate sets up here And uh, I will see y'all in the next video Peace. Bitch, don't call my phone, you heard I'm doing well I don't give two apps like a Fendi Bell Whoopin' up these babies, I 